What's up guys, so, Harmony Operating System 2.0, is Huawei's in-house platform, that should be available by June to customers, it is already in the final stages of development but, it seems already leaksters are claiming that, they have received the full upgrade to the Harmony Operating System. Anyway, if you want to get video like this, sub to this channel will be, amazing. Now, let's get start the video. So, according to a Notebook Check report, Vivo tipsters are now claiming that, they either heard of users receiving the major update of Harmony operating system already. Also, similarly a YouTube channel has posted, this video of the Huawei Mate X2 foldable phone, running a full-fledged Harmony operating system. Anyway, here is our first look at the Harmony operating system, running on the Huawei Mate X2 foldable phone. So, if we look at this video at first, the UI has a lot of similarities to Android especially around the notification bar, the icon layout, and the design. It somehow indicates that, Huawei is trying to give a similar user interface as Android so people can easily adopt it, and get used to it. Also, if we look at this video, the control center can be pulled down from the top right corner, while notifications come with the same gesture from the opposing side. And, the new operating system will have a different kind of widgets, that will allow you to use the gesture to provide more information without opening them. Anyway, there are a lot of new stuff, coming with the Harmony operating system, and I'm really excited about it. Also, according to detailed chat station who is one of the best leakster out there, shared these live pictures of the dummies of the Huawei P50 series. So, here as you can see a clear look at to the regular Huawei P50 and the images looks like they could be showing the real phone but, he called it third party model. So, that presumably means a dummy unit used by a company, such as a case maker, that would want to know, what the phone looks like ahead of the launch, to make its accessories. So, there is a high chance that the phone shown in these images, is an accurate representation of the Huawei P50 but, there is no guarantee right now. Anyway, the photo shows a design, that's much like we've seen before in the renders. So, there's a large camera block hosting two massive circles on the rear, and these circles are housing multiple lenses, like two lenses in each, and it looks quite good, and unique. And the exact specifications of the cameras are not known, but, really soon, I will provide you the exact specifications of all the cameras. Anyway, moving to the front, it includes a flat screen, a punch full of camera at the center, and the smartphone is shown in both white and black shades. Anyhow, the pictures also shows Harmony OS logo, which further confirms Huawei possible switch from Android to its own operating system and the Huawei P50 will get Harmony operating system, out of the box. And we can say, we now know how the phone will look like. By the way, a new news confirmed that Huawei might be the next big name to remove the charger break from the future Huawei phones, starting up with the Huawei P50 series. So, that said, it wouldn't be for the financial, or environmental reasons, like the others. So, a lot of Huawei fans were saying that, Huawei is joining Apple's strategy to make money. But, it's not right. Well it's true though, that Huawei will also be removing the charger from its smartphone boxes. But, the reason however has more to do with a lack of supply of charging chips. Unfortunately for both due to the global semiconductor shortage, as well as Huawei's ongoing US export ban. And we know Huawei is on that situation, where they can't even make enough smartphones to sell them properly in the market. So, that's why, they might not include charges in the boxes of the upcoming Huawei P50 series. Anyway, what do you guys think about it? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. And if you somehow like this video, sub to the channel will be make my day. And my name is Arjun. This is Digital Outside, so as always I'll catch you guys in the next one.